Hello everyone. Welcome to another beer review. <laughs> Christ. Um, today we're doing a beer from, from Little. <laughs> and if you're thinking he's scraping the bottom of the barrel, technically I am because I'm, I'm looking for kind of darker beers and oh, I found it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to look for darker beers. I seem to have a lot of lighter beers right now, and it's just not quite right for the lighter beers. But just now, and I'm getting sick of doing lighter beers, so I'm looking for darker beers. In my repertoire, obviously, I need to go and buy some other ones and that type of stuff. But uh, there's a there's a few other ones that I can get wired into that I'm starting to kind of notice, kind of kicking about. But today we're on. That's a big bugger for us. That. Or an Ambry beer from Little, and it's I don't know. It's basically is it Abbe de Fuclair? It's six point one percent. It's seven hundred and fifty ml bottle. I can't remember what it call, cost. I think it was roughly either roughly about three pounds or three pounds fifty. Um, there's no real advice about it. Apart from it is produced in France uh, for a little Great Britain Limited. Um, I'll do some more research and I'll find out more down below. But yeah, there's what it's like. Now, I take it's supposed to be more of a kind of an amber kind of lager. I think it's supposed to be. But uh, I really don't have much information about it just now. So let's crack it open and see what it does. I don't need it's a cock one this one. Let's see if I can take my eye out with the bloody thing, you know what I mean? Jesus, that's frightening me there. Straight away. Can get the bloody guard off it. Right here we go. Turn the ball, Graham, turn the ball. Oh you bloody thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Off you bastard. Oh, there we go. Oh, a little bit of smoke coming off there. Look at that. Eh? Oh, it's a celebration. But anyway, let's pour it out and see what we've got. So, yeah, be interesting to see what this is like. I think I bought this at the time when I was kicking about with Adrian in Little. I think we're in Little and Adrian's like, oh, you should get that. Oh, fuck it. And that's how the conversation went. So yeah, it's there's a slight cloudiness to it. It is a kind of light kind of copper colour for people on the podcast. There's not really much of a head. Um, more of a scum rather than a head. Smell wise. Bloody hell. I'm getting slightly syrupy smells. God, I'm getting malt, but again, it's slightly kind of caramel, toffee, and a syrupiness. I'm getting no hops. I'm not really getting any grain. I'm just getting this kind of malty, kind of caramel and toffee. And yeah, no, yeah, no grain, no hops. And it is giving out kind of slightly syrupy kind of uh, sensation. So, let's see what it tastes like. Um, oh, fucking hell. Oh, well, oh, that's a bit of the old taste sensation there, so it is. Um, ah. <sighs> When I says it, it, it smelled a bit syrupy, I didn't expect it to be tasting so bloody syrupy. It is actually quite syrupy. To the point is, it's a bit warty. That's what it has, it's got quite a strong wart kind of edge to it, which again just adds to the syrupiness of it. So you've got the alcohol there. And you can do it, because this is another thing that's kind of flagging me up. You've got this kind of wart kind of edge to it. I mean, I mean wart is basically it has 
the feel of undiluted wort, undiluted, unferment, unfermented kind of wort. And then you have the alcohol, but the two of them don't seem to be really be connected. And that's what's got kind of worrying me thinking, they actually, have they actually just added alcohol to this? Is it just kind of, they haven't fermented it, they made the wort, diluted it and then added alcohol to it? Because that's what it slightly started to feel like. Yeah. The malt doesn't feel like it's been fermented. It's got a very raw edge to it as if like it's just came straight out of the mash tun. You know what I mean? It's like it's we completed the boil and that was it. Um Yeah. Yeah, that's not a nice situation to be in, it really isn't. And look at it, it's flattened its ass, absolutely flattened its ass. Look at it, there's nothing to it. And yeah, it's not a nice flavour profile. And yeah, the smell is quite warty. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting that kind of slightly caramel. And yeah, you know, when you're doing your boil, you know, you, you've steeped your, your grains. You're now basically starting the boil, and you know you get that how it fills the room. When you start the boil, it really does fill the room. That kind of wart smell, and that's what it smells like. And yeah, that's what it tastes like. Um, is it getting any better? It's quite sweet to it as well. And that's again... It's not a kind of natural sweetness, as in like from a fermented drink. It's a sweetness from an unfermented drink. It's slightly kind of crystalline. Yes. Um, yeah, not so good. So it isn't. It's quite disappointing. Oh, we don't know. I don't really want to drink much more of this because I'm actually thinking about how oh, quick I can finish this review and get this bugger thing down the sink, the better. Which is never a good kind of uh, feeling to have about any beer. If you're basically kind of had a couple of sips of it and you think if it goes to the sink, then you know it's not a good one. It really isn't a good one. Um, so, yeah. What would I do with this? Um, no, that's actually quite disappointing. And it does feel that corners have been cut. And it does feel like it's a slightly more kind of manufactured beer rather than a brewed beer. Which is quite disappointing. Um, but... <coughs> oh, Jesus God. Oh. I tickled my nose. Um, no, that was that was enjoyable. By the way, oh god, that that bloody flavours are peeing on me there. Jesus, that's not nice. Um, yeah, it does feel like it. The, there's something decidedly off, and it doesn't feel like it's uh, it's been fermented, never mind properly conditioned. Um, it just feels very raw. And I, I mean, it's, maybe it's me, but you have to kind of wonder, do you think people wouldn't recognise that? Do you think normal people that enjoy, like, ale, especially ale drinkers, do you think they can identify a, a fermented or unfermented beer? Because, um, yeah, even how it looks, it's slightly kind of cloudy, and, and, yeah, it just reminds me of what, it reminds me of... The Doom Bar Zero, which had a really horrible warty kind of flavour to it, and it was, it was, there was no way that was ever fermented. And they, to say it was Doom Bar Zero, yeah, you were just taking the wort and that's it, and diluted it and bottled it, you cheeky bastards, you know. And there's a kind of feel to that as well, but this is alcoholic, and it means that where's the alcohol come from if it's not been fermented? 
you've added it. So you've been popping in maybe a bit of ethanol to it just to kind of make up the numbers. Mm. Mm. No. I, even, I mean, I'll be totally honest, I'm not even getting acclimatised to it. It's like, my mouth is like, no, no. Because my mouth is expecting beer and it's not getting beer. It's just getting this kind of heavily watered edged kind of flavour with kind of a uh, kind of disconnected alcohol kind of follow up to it. I, I can't even really kind of break down the flavours because it's just wart from front of the mouth to the kind of mid tongue with this kind of heavily wart thing and then in the middle of the mid tongue you have this kind of alcohol kind of flavour coming in from nowhere but it's not connected to this kind of slightly multi wart kind of flavour. And it, yeah, it just tastes completely unnatural. So it does. And it just kind of, everything just kind of like dissipates very quickly in the back end. And in general, it's just dreadful. So what would I give it out of 10? I'll be totally honest, not much. <laughs> so I'm sure that's come as a shock to you. Uh, not to me, it hasn't, though. Um, yeah, it's just dreadful. Ah, uh, Jesus God, it's dreadful. Yeah, it's just piss. <laughs> be totally honest, it's just piss. If, if you want to laugh, go and, go and try it. You know, if it's still been sold in a little, which I probably doubt it. I'm, I'm sure they probably thought, well, no, this isn't selling. Nobody's buying this. Unless, you, unless, I don't know, there's morons out there that have got a kick for it. I don't know, but... No, try it if you want to laugh, if you can find it. But yeah, it's just dreadful. Um, out of 10, what would I give this? Good. Um, I'm trying between a 1 and a 2. But in saying that, though, it wouldn't be fair because I've given beers to his and all that type of stuff, and at least they've been fermented. This doesn't feel like it's been fermented. So, and even the bottle, the bottle's absolutely fucking useless for kind of brewing because look, look at the tip on it, because it's that type of cork, you can't really get a normal kind of cap on it and things like that. So, even the bottle's a bit pissed. So, the bottle's pissed for basically being reused, and uh, the drink itself is absolutely pissed as well. So, it gets half a point for the the pissy drink and half a point for the bottle so it's one out of ten basically and that that's the best i can give it it's just rotten and uh i can't wait to finish this uh review and go and pour it down the sink so there you go that's the highlight of it is the green <laughs> take that you you know what i mean so yeah so yeah one out of ten would i recommend it absolutely not unless you want to laugh he he wanted to think it's as bad as what he says. Come on, try it. I'm sure it won't disappoint <laughs> from that. But yeah, it's just rotten. It really is just rotten and uh you don't need it to save your money. But yeah, one out of ten, six point one percent, doesn't taste fermented, load of piss. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye for now.